How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Nick Salmon receiving a settlement from CNN as a result of the lawsuit he filed against them last year. Now, there is a whole lot to quote unquote unpack here, as the cool kids would say. So, I'm gonna start from the very beginning so you understand what's going on, so you get full context, and then I'll get through each of the particular important points of the story, and I'll tell you how we've gotten right here today. And I'll also explain to you what this means for the future going forward. Now, first things first, right around this time last year, matter of fact, next Saturday, the 18th will be the one year anniversary of this particular incident. Nick Salmon is from Covington Catholic High School in Kentucky. He's with his classmates in Washington, D.C., having the field trip. You know how kids do. You're going to see the sites. You're going to the Capitol, Washington Monument. You you know, waving at the White House, taking selfies, whatever. You're having a good time in D.C., just hanging out on the field trip. After the field trip is concluded, they are instructed to go to the steps of the Capitol to wait on the bus to come pick them up. As they're waiting right there, they're being harassed by the Hebrew Israelites. You know, the guys will go, that's right. Claim your true history. Claim the Greeks. Claim the Romans. The Greeks was a bunch of homosexuals, just like the Romans. They're being harassed by them relentlessly. I think the big part of the reason why is because they have on MAGA hats. You know, a lot of the kids have on MAGA hats. Salmon has on the MAGA hat. We'll get back to that in a moment. So they're being harassed by these guys because they're white. They got on MAGA hats, whatever. Now, here comes a quote unquote native elder, Nathan Phillips, with his drum beating it loud, singing loud. Rah, 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 rah. He makes a beeline towards the young guy, Nick Salmon, gets right up in his face, like right in his pocket, and is continuing to sing loud and continuing to beat the drum right in his face. Nick Salmon does nothing, stands there. And the look he had on his face was called a smirk. Uh, like he was trying to intimidate him. But really, he's like, look, I'm not doing anything. I'm not scared. So, I mean, I don't understand what's going on. Hopefully, you just walk away and leave me alone. That is the kind of look he had on his face. Now, that particular piece of the footage was spread all over the Internet. And a lot of the mainstream media outlets just seized on it as a moment to try and attack these kids it's kind of a you know you're using these kids as a proxy tool to fight trump okay it's not even really about the kids so much it's about who the kids like okay trump caused this trump is the reason why this kid's standing there they don't see it as i see it as a kid minding his own business being approached by a guy with a drum they see it as this little short clip of a defiant child racist hates native americans hates black people hates brown people they see it as that because in their mind they already think maga hat racist white guy maga hat racist young white guy catholic school kid might as well be a frat boy getting high drinking liquor assaulting girls all of that that's how crazy their minds are but i digress my point is that the media immediately attacked these boys as being wrong, especially Nick Salmon, because, again, white guy, MAGA hat, native guy, they're saying that he was wrong. The reality is that there was much more footage to come, and it showed the whole situation. They were standing there, minding their own business, not doing anything to anybody. They were the victims. First, the Hebrew Israelites are harassing them, yelling at them. Here comes the guy, Nathan Phillips all up in his personal space. So what should Nick Salmon do? He did nothing wrong at all. But by the time the media realized this, it was too late. And now we have a situation where these kids are being totally defamed. Now, CNN is kind of weird because their whole motto was about being right and having facts, all this, that, and the third. So if you're about being right, if you're about having facts on your side, then why did you not just pause for a moment to see more of the footage? Okay, you know how it is. You might see a little clip of something. You don't understand the context. But they were so bloodthirsty to try and attack Trump through this kid. Like I said, through proxy, like kind of like a proxy war. You're waging a war on this kid to wage a war on Trump. You see, they were so bloodthirsty for that particular moment. They put all their quote unquote standards just to the wayside, threw them out the window like it were nothing. 
And that is the reason why they got sued. Now, CNN tried to block it, talking about, oh, you know, we called you racist. We said that, you know, you said build the wall, but that's not defamation. <laughs> First of all, you calling them racist is not true. Where is the evidence of that? Nothing's there. And then the whole build the wall thing, it didn't even say build the wall. I thought they said that, but they did not say build the wall. They were just literally standing there waiting on their bus. And that's it. OK, Washington Post and who else? Um, NBC are also getting sued. The total amount of money that they sue all three places for is 800 million. I think CNN was 275 million of that. Now, if they settle for anything less than 10 million, I'd be totally shocked, totally shocked. You know, I, I think they got at least 10 mil. The lawyers are going to want at least that because they're working pro bono. And they want to get a piece of the action at the end. They want to be able to get a 33%, which if they got 10 million on a low end, that'd be like, what, 3.3? So I think they're pretty much good with getting 10 or maybe even a little bit more. Quite frankly, if there is um, a, a low balling figure, it'd just work bad against CNN because that negative PR would be on their back like a big monkey that's scratching and clawing, not wanting to get off. You understand? It'd be cheaper and easier for them to settle quietly and move on with the whole situation. But I'm reading about this particular lawsuit. And according to Nick Salmon's lawyers, it's not even about the money necessarily. It's about the money, but it's not just about the money. It's about deterring these news outlets from doing this to anybody else, young or not. OK, have some integrity with yourself as a journalist and Look before you leap. Don't just attack somebody without knowing the whole situation. You're relying upon Twitter videos to give you your news and then you report on that. This kid, Nick Salmon, had his home threatened, got doxxed. You had people that were protesting at his school, like full grown adults with signs protesting this kid because of what CNN and other media outlets said about him that was totally untrue so the lawsuit is not just being litigious it's a warranted thing you almost ruined this young man's life over a lie you know and it's weird again going back to the media and the left they'll talk about people like Greta Thunberg oh she's off limits she's 16 years old leave her alone meanwhile she put herself out there in the limelight if you are a public figure you put yourself out there as a person you know giving speeches traveling talking about x y z this that and the third meeting with world leaders then you're open to criticism you can't say that oh because i'm 16 then i can't be criticized if that's the case then you shouldn't be out there placing yourself in the public okay so people like greta thunberg and many others they are able to be criticized because they have put themselves out there as public figures. Anybody, I don't care if you left, right, center, agnostic politically, anybody that's a public figure can be criticized because they put themselves out there. But a 16 year old that did nothing, said nothing, was not trying to be filmed, was not trying to go viral. He's just standing there and got thrust into the limelight. That's unfair to talk about this guy. Even if he were an adult, it's unfair to just you know, just hate on this person for literally doing nothing. But he's young. That especially puts a guard on him. You know, these people on the left are weird. Same thing with mini AOC. She's just, you know, uploading videos to Twitter, uh, just kind of being a parody of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. This girl's, what, eight, nine years old. She's getting death threats, getting doxxed, all kind of stuff. This is really crazy, but this is what the left does. And like I've said before, the left's new motto should be, do as I say, not as I do. I do whatever I want, you do whatever I say. And that's pretty much all I gotta say about it. And what say you, do you think that Nick Sandman deserved to get a settlement from CNN due to defamation or whatever else he sued them for? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Did Nick Sandman not deserve to get a settlement from CNN or other media outlets if that's your viewpoint let me know why in the comments below if you think that nick salmon was somehow wrong here uh i just don't understand how that could be your rationale nathan phillips walked up on him uh nick salmon did nothing wrong he's standing there minding his own business not doing anything not saying anything he gets approached so what do you do 
I know some guys, like, let it have been some of these hood schools <laughs> that I grew up in, and you got a bunch of kids at the, you know, at, waiting on the bus stop, and they get approached by some people. Man, that that drum would have been halfway up his hind parts. <laughs> all, all the braids would have been out his hair. It, it would have been a mess, man. And I'm not saying it's okay to do that. I'm just saying you can't roll up on people and just do whatever you want and then get the claim to be the victim. That's not how this works. You, Nathan Phillips, started the whole situation. I ain't trying to see you on TV crying with the one stereotypical Indian tear. I don't want to see none of that. If you're going to do something like that to somebody, roll up on them, beat a drum in their face, singing loud. Oh, oh, oh. If you're going to do all that, then accept responsibility when things go wrong. When it, you get exposed for being the aggressor, take responsibility. Be accountable for your own actions. Don't Point the finger. Don't throw a stone or hide your hand. Be a man and stand on whatever you do. And congrats to Nick Sandman. Hopefully this will deter other people from coming out and doing things like this in the future. But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.